हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक ऑन माई चैनल नूतन ऑनलाइन स्टडी सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू मेक लेसन प्लान फॉर्मेट एंड अवर टॉपिक वुड बी लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स दिस इज फॉर क्लास थर्ड ओके सो यू कैन सी हियर हाउ वी हैव टू मेक दिस लेसन प्लान एंड बिफोर गोइंग डीपली इन टू दिस लेसन प्लान इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज ऑन माई चैनल यू विल गेट वीडियो एज वेल एज पी डी एफ ऑल्सो If you're in PDF, what you all you have to do is you just have to comment in the comment section below, or you can all um, see a uh, description box also. Okay. Now let's see what we have to write here. For previous knowledge, what we have to write that students are aware of many various names of animals, plants, and many other living and non-living things. So basically, they are not aware of these two terms like living things and non-living things, but still they are aware of many types of you know. Ah, uh, like living and non-living things, like you know, animals, plants. They are already aware of general aim. So we want to tell uh, tell them about a living thing and non non-living thing, as well as we also want to, um, you know, enable them to understand or differentiate between living thing, non-living thing, natural and man-made things. Okay, specific objectives. You can see how we have to write to let them know what is living things, non-living things. natural things and man made things and to differentiate among them teaching aids you can see whatever teaching aids you have to use you have to mention all these things here you can see uh, this is our overall look of our lesson plan okay now comes the main part that is introduction question so first what teacher has to do is teacher has to show like duster to students and teacher has to ask oh, what is this student will answer it is a duster then student uh, then teacher will ask can it move from here and there student will answer no it cannot move can a dog or cat move and go here and there student will answer yes they can easily move then teacher will ask why so student will try to answer uh, in their own words okay so we will have to ask do you know what is living and non living things and do you know what is difference difference between these two it would be problematic okay here you can see objectives and specification to arouse previous knowledge to check previous knowledge to check attention to link past experience with present knowledge here you can see statement of him so means after announcing our topic what we have to do is we have to uh, you know uh, give statement of our origin like we have to announce our topic we have to say students today i am going to teach you topic living and non living things this you can see here okay now here you can see presentation one here you can see presentation one we have to explain everything about living things first we will explain them about living things what are living things and many def uh, definition also we will uh, tell about them characteristics or features of living things also we are going to tell them okay here you can see and here i have um, you know make diagram also this is cat so it is animal so we have to say all these things are animals okay we can also use another example you can also give or show to students after explaining everything what we have to do is we have to ask question and teacher has to ask question here you can see list of question i have added here four question what is living thing what are features of living things give examples of living things how plants make their foods and these are expected answer now this is blackboard work you can see here okay and skills for skills you can see teacher means teacher has to once again explain with the help of whatever teaching aid she has like chart or model so i i have mentioned here chart teacher explain with help of chart students observing chart here for teaching aids we have to write chart okay now here you can see non living things okay the things that have no life examples also we have to mention here after explaining for like 5 to 6 minute we have to ask question to students here you can see what is non living thing give examples of uh, non living things here things that that have no life birds cart table like this okay here is the blackboard work you can see now here you can see rest part of presentation to man made things what are man made things examples also and this is the rest part of our questions okay 
or third question and here is the answer expected answer that we expect from students here you can see all the nat natural things uh, and examples of natural things here you can see teacher shows chart students observing chart and for teaching aids we have to write chart now here you can see recapitulation part five uh, questions what is living things give example what is non-living things what is natural things what is man-made things give examples of man-made things you know like this we have to ask question to students and here is the list of the answer list list of the answers you know we expect this this answer from students and this is the overall look of our lesson plan now here you can see application this is the last part of our lesson plan application and evaluation fill in the blanks you can see here you know four question i have added and five question is enough you can extend it up to five question do not add more than that and okay and home assignment okay so for perfection of their knowledge we have to give home assignment to students and if you need pdf all you have to do is you just check the description box below okay and so this was my lesson plan okay for the topic living and non-living things okay if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel we will meet in next video till then bye bye and take care